In graphic design, there are principles of design that can be considered, which we can keep in mind in order to develop and create successful design. These principles all have a relationship between each other and appear in every well-designed piece of work you see. Understanding and harnessing design principles will enable you to create good visual communication and design in a variety of ways to make specific, appropriate and meaningful impressions. This is what typically separates good design from bad design. In a previous video, I discussed one of the key design principles, hierarchy. In that video, we looked at the key ways hierarchy can be achieved in poster design. In poster design, hierarchy can be achieved in a variety of ways using contrast in layers, contrast in scale, contrast in color, contrast in space, and contrast in direction. Now, it's important to mention that these techniques don't have to be used exclusively, as some can be used together to develop a clear hierarchy in your design. In this video, we are going to look at one of the key ways to achieve hierarchy in poster design. I'm going to take you through a quick presentation where we can look at some examples of how hierarchy can be achieved using contrast in layers in poster design and the lessons we can learn to incorporate in our own design. So let's get into it. So let's take a look at how contrast in layers can help develop visual hierarchy. Now, a quick recap. Hierarchy is created by contrast between visual elements in a composition. Contrast helps distinguish elements from each other, which helps with legibility. Typically, visual elements with the highest contrast are noticed first and so on. And one of the key ways to achieve contrast in poster design is with layers. So when it comes to 2D composition, if you put something on top of something else, you are immediately creating a sense of hierarchy from the simple act of placing one item on top of the other out of view. This also works like perspective. Naturally, whatever is closest to us and in focus is what we are going to perceive initially. Layering is one of the most fundamental techniques when establishing hierarchy. It may seem simple, but can be used elegantly, can be done abruptly or smoothly and can include a few to several layers. In some posters, layers are used to create interesting composition dynamics, which can be used to establish and suggest hierarchy. Here are some examples of posters that use layering predominantly to establish a clear visual hierarchy. Some place type on top of an image, texture or colored background. Now this is the most straightforward way to present visual information in the most clear way possible, which typically only includes a few layers. Naturally, placing type on top of an image allows for more legibility. However, care must be taken to ensure all type has enough contrast with layers below to be clearly read. In these examples, we see there is adequate contrast in color of the type on top of the layers below to establish clear legibility. Here we can see how this has been done with great effect. The difficulty level of this technique is easy. Now, some posters do the reverse and place image elements on top of type and shape elements. Now, this approach is less conventional, can include several layers, and if done well, can create more dynamic compositions. As we see here, image does occasionally cover type, but not to the extent that the type is not legible. Generally, this approach is applied to achieve more interesting interactions and synergy between visual elements, which can create more depth and movement, and requires skill and experience to get the right balance. Here we can see how this has been done with great effect. The difficulty level for this technique is challenging. Now, some poster designs will build up layers through contrast in color, shape, and texture. Now, this is where things get a little bit more tricky and complex, where more skill will be required when dealing with multiple layers to get the right balance and legibility. Care will need to be taken when attempting this approach, as a composition can easily get noisy and cluttered. However, if managed well with adequate positioning and contrast between the layers, this can create more dynamic results. Here we can see how this has been done with great effect. The difficulty level for this technique is difficult. So overall, in each example, it's clear to see how hierarchy has been achieved. In almost every example, your eye is drawn to the visual element that appears closest to us, or the element set on the highest layer. So in conclusion, the most straightforward technique to achieve a clear sense of visual hierarchy is to use contrast in layers. 
Using layers may seem simple, but depending on how many layers you want to use and the complexity of your composition will determine how challenging it will be to achieve the right balance and level of legibility. Skill and care will be required when managing multiple layers and complexity in your design. So what can we learn? Well, without taking care to establish a clear visual hierarchy, a design will be confusing and difficult to comprehend. Using layers may be the most practical technique, but there are a variety of approaches you can take from simple to more complex. If managed carefully, one can create dynamic and exciting poster designs with depth. So in application, when you're designing posters or anything for that matter, be sure to consider contrast between your layers to establish a clear hierarchy. Also, when you look and observe other designs, ask yourself, how has hierarchy been considered? Is there a clear sense of hierarchy? How have they used contrast of layers in their design to achieve it? And how well does it work as part of the design? Well, I hope you enjoyed this design theory lesson. If you did, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified of more design lesson videos like this in future. Now this lesson is part of a bigger series on poster design and part of my poster design ebook. If you want to take a closer look at the examples I demonstrated in this video and learn more about poster design with tutorials on how to make a poster design and undertake a poster design challenge, you can invest in the poster design ebook. Link is in the description. Now this video was created for all my members of the GDS Design School community. If you would like to join the GDS design community, where we chat about design, give each other feedback, and where I set design challenges, you are all welcome to join for free. Again, link is in the description, and I look forward to seeing you there. So until my next design lesson, unleash your creativity, and I'll see you next time.